take a look at this video used to shoot a watermelon using an AR-15. What? Millions of gun owners in this country are not registered to vote, and that is unacceptable. Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Firearms LLC. PAN Firearms, your NRA certification of multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203 300 6343 or use our website at www.panfirearmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. And if you like channel, like content, what I do here, you can support me the link. Everything appreciated. And once again, from my PSA. If your comments are disappearing from the channel, I'm not doing it. If I take out a comment, I will let you know that I'm doing it and why I did it. There seems to be a growing problem across this platform of specific channels and specific comments being taken out. So if your comment disappears, I'm not doing it. Let's talk about this. I came across this article uh, on uh, uh, what was it? Ammo Land. Yeah. And it's disturbing, to say the least. This article talks about the fact that millions of gun owners in this country are not registered to vote. Now, that's not saying you don't vote, but the fact you're not registered is very, very unnerving. Because everybody says that every election cycle, they, for president especially, they always say this is the pivotal election of our lives and blah, blah, blah. This one truly is. Despite the fact that they ran a coup against Biden and pushed him out to then install Kamala Harris, who did not win one primary vote. Let's be clear about this. Did not win one primary vote, but now she is the nominee. And trust me, she's already made it clear about our individual rights as gun owners and what she's got planning to do. This is not about getting rid of the Second Amendment. It's simply about saying we need reasonable gun safety laws. There is no reason why we have assault weapons on the streets of a civil society. They are weapons of war. They are designed to kill a lot of people quickly. I don't think the president is excluding that, but I, again, I, I, I want to be clear that if we really want something that is going to be lasting, we need to pass legislation. We cannot allow this person into the White House as constitutionalists, as gun owners, as people who just straight love freedom. Because the only people she is pandering to are the progressive left. She is the most liberal and most progressive senator, period. Now she's running for president and we can't allow this. But the fact that we have, coming back to my story here, that millions of gun owners are not registered to vote is very disturbing. I'm gonna bring you right into here. I'm gonna bring you down to here. This is Women for Gun Rights Day did this here. And you can see this chart here behind me. That's, that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Hundreds of thousands of gun owners and hunters are not registered to vote. Not good. That's not good at all. Okay, I'm gonna come down to here. In a recent article published on July 9th, 2024, the New York Post had this to say, more than 10 million hunters and gun owners are not registered to vote in America, according to a new grassroots voter registration group firing warning shots at the GOP Vote for America data show that if Republicans don't address political apathy among the gun owning base in key swing states, they'll have fewer voters in their arsenal to score victories this November. A breakdown of the data reveals a major shortfall in voter registration among gun owners in the states that will decide the 2024 election. Pennsylvania, swing state. Michigan, swing state. North Carolina, swing state. Georgia, not so much. Wisconsin, swing state. Missouri, Virginia. Virginia's up for grabs right now. All have more than half a million hunters and gun owners unregistered, and Arizona has the smallest shortfalls at 133,000. Audiences have not always responded positively to Vote for America's voter registration efforts. Advisors to the group, Baker Levitt, told District of Conservation podcast host Gabrielle Hoffman in a recent appearance that the most common response to its outreach to gun owners in the sentiments, my vote doesn't count, the system is rigged. And that's a really bad attitude to have. Despite the pessimism, even marginal wins could play big dividends come November. Quote, if we could convert 2% of all licensed hunters and get them to vote, GOP would win in the landslide, Levitt told Hoffman. 2%, 2% of that number. 
Hoffman noted that a lot of hunters and gun owners, they're very animated on social media. They have a lot of opinions, but they don't go out and vote. They talk a great deal, often about preserving your rights doing this, hunting, but a lot of people don't follow through with voting. Democratic politicians have leaned on influences in recent years, like the, the, the Democrats lean on the worst influencers. <laughs> Son is a perfect example. Despite reality, despite the evidence, despite the facts, despite what your eyes see, he will tell you something different. It's amazing what these people will do. But, and before that, Hollywood celebrities to push liberal messaging for their built-in audiences of loyal followers. Vote for America is hoping to tap in that strategy on the conservative side, but partnering with more niche influences in the hunting, pro-Second Amendment, first responder, and veteran communities. And I'll gladly do some influencing for him, but I will use facts, not my biased opinion, okay? But Stephen Aaron and other groups of advisors, he says when it comes to winning over disengaged gun owners, the mission is clear and simple. Quote, our goal is to make sure these people know that voting matters. The issues people worry about, attacks on personal freedoms, our crime problems, skyrocketing inflation, are all impacted by the people we put in office. This is an effort to help voters connect the issues impacting their daily life to decisions made by elected officials so people understand that vote really does matter and they engage. It's time to make America feel like home again. Okay. And we already know that, as I said, I'm going to come out of that, but Kamala Harris is now the presumptive nominee because God knows what's going on in the Democrat Party. For a party that says that Trump is a threat to democracy, they are doing the most undemocratic things to get themselves a candidate. It's, it's shocking and it's even more shocking that you hear Democrats say, yeah, I don't like what they did, but I'm still going to vote blue no matter who. And that's, that's a cultish attitude. But gun owners, stop. Stop it. You need to get out there. You need to vote. You need to vote because your rights do depend on it. Literally, especially right now. You gotta stop this nonsense. We have got to come together. Now, I remember years ago, this is a Connecticut thing, but I was working a store and a guy came in, was looking around, and I was talking to him. I said, who did you vote for? This was Lamont versus Stefanowski. And I said, who did you vote for? And he goes, I didn't vote for either one of them. I didn't like either one of them. I said, yeah, but that guarantees we ended up with what we ended up with. Now look where we are. This apathy among gun owners has got to go away. We have got to stop this nonsense. Just in Connecticut alone, despite it being blue state, if all gun owners were to come together, we could literally flip the state red easily. But the problem is people want to take on special interests. They want to take on outside ideals beyond the Constitution and their freedom. And that's why we lose. But let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence or statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace.